it would be awesome if we could automate our home like this. But we don't need cogs, torches or even lava to control the heating in our home. For this we have Home Assistant and of course the RVs. Today we will be looking at a better thermostat and how it can help you control your existing smart valves. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Home Assistant allows you to integrate your existing heating system. In a previous video I showed you how I integrated my Tado via the cloud, but also how you can integrate it via the HomeKit and have a local control. In a couple of videos before that I showed you how you can use the smart TRVs or smart thermostatic valves to control the heating in your apartment and for example use a Shelly to control your boiler or a heater for that purpose. But on top of that, if you want to mimic systems such as Tado in your home assistant, you need automations. Unless you are of course using better thermostat. For better thermostat you need to have HACS enabled and installed in your system. And better thermostat is really two components. One is the integration that does all the hard work, but there is also a front-end component which is based on this internal home assistant climate card with some of the extras included. So let's quickly install it. Let's go to HACS, Integrations, click on Explore and Download Repositories and click on Better Thermostat. Press on the Download button. But before we click on Download, tick this box next to Show Beta Versions. You will see a warning here that do not install Use Beta. Since this integration is still in the beta phase, you have to select the latest one. There is Beta 36, 37, 38, we will go for Beta 40 because that is the last one available. And click on Download. Of course, for the next step, we have to restart Home Assistant. But before we do that, let's go to Front End. In a Front End, once again click on Explore and Download Repositories and let's download Better Thermostat UI. Click on Download and once again click on Download. Front-end components do not require restart, we just have to reload the page. And that's it. Let me quickly restart Home Assistant so that integration is activated and while we are waiting for that, let's check the documentation. The link to the GitHub repository will be in the video description. Documentation starts with this important notice, but we already did that. Since this app is still in development, we need to download the latest available beta version, which we did. Home Assistant requirements are that you are using at minimum 2022.8.0 and the latest tested version was 2022.10.5. We have already installed the companion UI, which is based on the standard Home Assistant climate card. Documentation also includes the list of supported hardware. These are the manufacturers, product names, product numbers and also white labels, because a lot of companies white label them so you can have the same device with the two or three manufacturer names. Yes, I did show this Shelly TRV and it's not on this list, but I did find it in the documentation section of the GitHub. The link to the documentation section will also be included in the video description. And before we proceed, let's look at the setup. This custom component uses the config flow from within Home Assistant. That means that you don't have to use the YAML code. There is one important notice, and this is something similar to what Tado has. The weather and outdoor sensors are not required, but you need one of them if you want to use this function, if not remove them. So what this function does, it checks the external temperature, and if it's the same as the internal, it would stop heating. The same thing goes for the weather card or weather information. I really do recommend that you use both weather and the outdoor sensor information. For outdoor sensors, I have a couple of them outside, these are the Akara sensors and the links to the ones I'm using will be in the video description. And if I remember, I will also post a link to the 3D printed model that I use as a shield for my sensors. They have been now out for more than a year, almost two years, and they are working great. After Home Assistant has restarted, let's go to Add Integration, type Better, Thermostat, and start configuring. Let's call this one Loft. Since I don't have any radiators or valves already here, I will be using or faking it with this Shelly one. 
The real thermostat would be Shelly TRV. A lot of people say that they are not happy with the TRV temperature sensors. What this integration allows you is to use the external sensor, so for example one that you have sitting on your table or next to where you are spending more time and ignore the temperature from the TRV sensor. Let me quickly add here one sensor. You can also specify the humidity sensor and as I mentioned you can specify the outdoor sensor. This outdoor sensor will be also used as a reference when the system is working. One of the things that this better thermostat does is, for example, disable the heating if the external temperature is the same as the internal one. Now let's look at some of the additional things that you can configure. One of them is window sensor. Let's take one step back. My living room has two windows and one door. In order for me to track everything, I would require also three door window sensors. Imagine that I have three of them. What I could do is I could create a group and then put all the sensors inside of that group. Then I could specify here the group name where all my sensors are. But since I don't have them, let's find something that I can use here from the existing door window sensors. Next thing that I already mentioned is that you can add the weather integration here. Let me give you an example for the next configuration option. If it is winter and you want to let quickly air in, you can do this for let's say one minute. But if the window is open for more than one minute, you want to shut down the heating. Here you can specify that delay before the thermostat turns off when the window is open and on when the window is closed. After you close the window, it can wait for one, two, five, seven minutes and then start the heating once again. I will leave it at zero. The last option on this page is to specify the outdoor temperature. We already have specified the sensor that we have outside. This here tells the system that if the outside temperature is 20 plus, it will shut down the heating. Better thermostat also allows you to do some calibration. Let's check the documentation for this one. We have target temp based, target temperature and also local calibration. Target temperature uses this formula. TRV, target temperature, is equal TRV, set temperature, minus external sensor temperature, so for example one on your desk, plus internal TRV temperature. The other option is to use local calibration or offset attribute from the TRV to equalize the TRV internal temperature sensor to the external temperature sensor, plus some other options. If you are using Homematic IP, you should tick the box here. I'm going to leave everything else as default. Click on next. And now comes the warning for my Shelly. Shelly doesn't have a off mode. So I would have to create a special automation that would handle that case there. Let's click on submit. If we go and check the integration, we now have one device. And this device shows off state and currently it's 22 degrees. Let's add it to UI. This is the existing Shelly TRV with the internal, simple thermostat and the mushroom version of the climate card. Let's press add card, type better and unfortunately you will not be able to use the editor. You have to type entity climate dot and here you will be presented with the list of all the TRVs. We have created the new thermostat for the loft, it's called loft underscore two. This is the better thermostat. Let's save it. It shows that the current temperature is set to 5 degrees, but we want to set it, for example, to 23.3. It automatically opened the valve because it initiated cold to heat or it wants to let the hot water in the radiator. If we would move this under this dot, it would automatically stop heating by closing the valve. If I would now trigger door window sensor, It is now showing the blue dot, the window is open, that means that it is registering and it should turn off the heating. You can manually set the echo mode and of course you can also turn off the heating. I've now closed the window and as you can see it registered that and it initiated the heating cycle. There are some other options that you can play with, for example click on three dots, edit dashboard, edit, show code editor and you can manually specify the echo temperature. It is currently set to 18. Type echo, temperature, and specify here the value, for example, 19. 
if we would now enable echo temperature, it would set it to 19. Echo temperature can be, for example, away or night temperature. So don't heat during the night or don't heat when away. Here you also have a summer indicator. That means it's summer and don't heat. If you want to disable this summer indicator, type disable, summer, and true. We don't see the summer indicator anymore. Check the documentation for the beta thermostat UI, because you can also disable window, heat, echo, and off. But of course, you can also override the name. Currently, it's called loft. You can rename it to whatever you want. I really must thank Kartoffel Toby or Potato Toby, if I'm not wrong, for creating both the UI version or the front-end card and also the integration itself. And I really do believe that this should be integrated inside the Home Assistant without the need for the HACS, especially in these times when we have to be careful on how we use our energy. The next step is for you to install the better thermostat, both the front-end part and the integration itself, and start using it. And I really would like to hear back from you. Are you already using this integration? And will you be installing it? Also, what are some of your tips and tricks, if you have been using it for a long, long, long time? But I also want to thank all the YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. And also thanks to each and every one of you who has watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by becoming a YouTube channel member for less than $2 or €2 Euros per month. Thank you. But also go and check out my merchandise store and the link to it is in the video description. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have...